Hello and welcome to the Biostock Studio here at Medicom Village in Lund. I'm joined today by Per Norlen, the CEO of Alligator Bioscience, a biotech based here in Lund. Welcome, Per. Thank you. Um, well, uh, lately, Alligator Bioscience has done a lot of uh, outreach efforts, uh, especially, especially internationally. And uh, so last week, um, Alligator was at the World Immunotherapy Congress, for example. And this week, uh, you are uh, participating in the SITC conference. Is that correct? That is correct. Great. Um, and uh, I just wanted to start by asking you, why is this outreach so important at this moment in time for Alligator Bioscience? Yeah, uh, CITC, uh, that's uh, the key immune oncology conference of the year. So we usually try to focus our uh, reports to uh, early November where CITC is in Washington. And then uh, there, the fact that we had another conference last week, that's more a co coincidence. So it's CITC, that's a key event. Okay. Um, well, uh, I just want to start by, uh, by discussing the World Immunotherapy Congress first. Um, Alligator Bioscience presented benchmark data uh, from uh, mitazolimab, the CD40 antibody. Yes. Um, so could you tell, tell us a little bit more about this data and uh, why it shows that mitazolimab has the potential to be best in class in regards to CD40 antibodies? Sure, I'm happy to. So uh, what we have done here is a preclinical assessment comparing mitazolimab to the key competitors. And we do get questions, why make a preclinical comparison when you have a clinical product? It's, it's not really translational for what happens in the clinic. But the fact is that CD40 is today validated in a clinical setting. So our, our competitor, Apexidon, have shown efficacy in pancreatic cancer. And what we do here is to make sure that our product is at least as strong as the competitors, including Apexidon. And uh, more specifically, what we've done in taking uh, uh, the relevant target, which is the dendritic cells, and then assessing the efficacy of the antibodies and comparing them straight to one another. And uh, we can basically summarize it as we have at least as good efficacy as all the competitors, and we do have a superior safety profile. But uh, uh, if we look more specifically on the competitor Apexidon, they have shown clinical data, and there's been a lot of talk from them that they have the best antibodies, better than all the competitors, and, so, and they have shown uh, comparator data in, to that effect. Uh, so that's why it was important for us to ver uh, verify whether we have an equal product or whether we don't. So we have be made benchmarks and here we have presented really thorough data where we set up two different models. One model is uh, optimized to favor the Apexidin product and one is optimized to favor our product. And in the uh, the the model where we do favor uh, our product, we are better, and we were not surprised. And in the other model, where we have optimized it to favor Apexidon, we are equally good. Mm -hmm. So we have at least as strong activity as Apexidon. And then from clinical data, a superior safety profile. Mm -hmm. That sounds very promising. Um, so, uh, well, that actually answers my next question, which was about the competitors. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, not much more to go into, uh, I guess. Yeah, and I, I can just say we have an, it's not only a pexidin. We have compared to the Roche compound, to, a pec, uh, to the Celdex compound, and to the early Seattle genetics compound, and we all uh, benchmark very, very well. At the conference last week, Alligator Bioscience also summarized previously released clinical phase one data that was performed by um, Janssen Biotech on mitazolimab. Why is this important? So the Janssen Biotech data that is from the clinical study and it shows quite clearly that we have a good safety profile. We can dose higher, we have a tolerable, a tolerable uh, profile and uh, given that we now have uh, benchmark data saying that on the efficacy side our product is at least as strong in activating CD40 as any other competitors now our safety data is much more important because it shows not only are we safe in the clinic, but we also have at least a strong activity. Mm -hmm. So, um, and um, just to wrap up regarding the mitazolimab, what are the? Can you tell us more about the next steps that are coming uh, within the project? Yes, uh, mitazolimab is moving towards a phase two trial. We are planning for submitting the CTA before end of the year, so that's imminent, and that would be a trial in pancreatic cancer. 
This is uh, the cancer indication where apexidin has shown some early clinical evidence. And we are uh, conducting a similar study in combination with chemotherapy um, to show that metasalmab has efficacy in pancreatic cancer. Okay, sounds exciting. Um, so then let's go to the conference that's going on this week, the SITC. Um, so Alligator will be presenting from three projects. Um, the ADER-15 project, the uh, Phase 1 Ready ALG APV 527 project. Yes. It's a bit of a mouthful. Uh, <laughs> with, and this project is developed in partnership with uh, Uptevo Therapeutics. Correct. And then you have this uh, Neo X Prime project. Um, why, why these three specific projects are highlighted at this conference? Yeah, 1015, we have uh, phase one clinical data. We have uh, uh, more or less the complete studies now summarized. So we have uh, presented some data before. So what's added on now is uh, pharmacodynamic biomarkers and uh, that is all presented at the CITC at the poster. Uh, so it's just more details. Uh, when it comes to 527, ALDAPV 527, uh, that is a phase one ready product and uh, what we do release now is uh, the preclinical uh, regulatory package that we are ready to submit for phase one. So it's basically demonstrating that we have succeeded in generating a product that can induce 4-1-BB effects without toxicity. So there's a uh, very strong data package showing that we can activate locally in the presence of the tumor, but <clears throat> do not activate elsewhere. So that's mm -hmm. uh, a very strong package. And uh, then the last one, EUX Prime, that's a new drug concept. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a bispecific drug, uh, meaning that there are two antibodies connected into one molecule. And it's, uh, the concept is uh, essentially to catch the tumor parts in the circulation and bring them to the dendritic cells to make sure that the right stuff is presented at the right cell. Mm -hmm. So you say this is a concept. Uh, so is, this is something new then Absolutely. in the in the in the field of immune oncology. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Um, would you mind going to a, a little more detail maybe about this? Yeah, it, it's based on CD40, and we do sometimes get the question. I mean, this is another CD40 product, and mirasalimab. It's a front runner CD40. It improves antigen presentation. It's like a billboard. The billboard lights up. Uh, this There is still a challenge. The fact that the dendritic cells, the billboard, will collect everything around it and present it on its surface. It's like a billboard with a million different nodes and you should then the T cells who will uh, execute on the immune attack, they have to read every note and see where is the important information. Uh, what we have done now is to design a product that not only activates the dendritic cells but also physically catches the relevant nodes, the structures from the tumors, bring them to the dendritic cell and make sure that the right things are presented on the dendritic cells. So essentially billboard with much few nodes and with relevant messaging on all, all the nodes. Okay, okay, sounds very interesting. Um, would you say there then there are no competitors in this for this particular uh, No, we, we are first uh, in the world with this concept. Mm -hmm. um, well, um, finally, uh, both of these events, of course, are held virtually uh, because of the pandemic. Um, does this present a challenge or maybe even some benefits? Uh, if so, um, how does Alligator confront these? Yeah, that's, there are two sides as usual. and. Uh, on the one hand, you can have very efficient uh, presentations, interactions. You don't have to travel for days to s spread the message. On the other hand, you don't get the physical interactions with the people you meet on the street in the, at the conference, so to speak. And that is uh, very difficult. We need to actively connect with everyone we need to talk to. And so that has been done to be done in a different way. We, we only use the conference now for messaging back and forth, but uh, the actual relationship building has to be done elsewhere. Mm -hmm. And as far as I understand it, the posters for the three projects at the SITC are available up until uh, December, is that correct? Or through that December? is correct. Through this week we will present those three programs and there will be uh, question and answer sessions on Wednesday and on Friday. Okay. Great. Well, uh, thank you so much, Pat, for joining us. And uh, we look forward to seeing you at the Bystock Life Science Summit next week. Thank you. Mm -hmm.